Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. As for today, we have the unboxing of the RX 7600 XT. Thank you, kind sir. What I can tell you right away is that although the 7600 XT is in fact the... Well, it's basically the same card as the 7600, but with 16 gigabytes of VRAM, it should be called indeed 7600 16 gigabytes and not 7600 XT. What I can tell you is that I was kind of surprised by the cooling solution that Sapphire presented here with a pulse. Because although the 7600 and the 7600 XT both are pulse versions and they are very close to each other in terms of looks, the 7600 XT Pulse is much better in terms of cooling than the 7600 non-XT. Just much better overall, it performs much better, much lower temps, much lower noise levels, even with overclocking. The power limit is also a bit higher, but that's because it is the XT instead of the non-XT. But overall, that's it. Yes, I'm actually pretty impressed. Almost as impressed as I was with today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mo. Bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. Now on the unboxing part, well, we start with the first, um, well, with the front panel, let's call it that, the, the front panel of the box, which says Sapphire, the usual Sapphire AMD Radeon RX uh, 7600 XT, 16 gigabytes, which is basically the only difference from the, the normal RX 7600, which is already a bummer. Uh, we have OC overclock, HDMI, and so on. I actually like the design of this box compared to the to the Pulse, to the normal Pulse 7600, the box is, is cooler. I mean, it won't affect the performance of the card, the box, of course, but it is much cooler. The colors, uh, the design, it's better. As for the side, we have here the, the barcode, of course. Uh, we have, once again, RX 7600 XT 16 gigabytes. As for the other side, 16 gigabytes, and we now have the key features with 32 AMD RDNA 3 compute units, with RT and AI acceleration, of course, 32 megabytes of Infinity Cache, DisplayPort 2.1, which is one of the main differences comparing to the 7600. We also have the AMD Radiance Display Engine, which is basically the new display engine of RDNA 3. Then we have support for HyperRx and Anti-Lag technology. And we actually heard nothing more about Anti-Lag Plus, but I guess we'll hear from, from AMD in some time. Now we have once again RX 7600 XT in the... Um, well, the top and the bottom are equal. In the back we have this with record and stream, AMD instant replay, crisp and clear, elevate your game, brilliant color accuracy, all those things that the boxes normally bring, um, with PCI Express compatible, minimum 600 watts or greater power supply, which obviously isn't needed, it depends on what you want. So, let's open the box. As per usual with Sapphire, we have the normal cardboard box, recycled one, I believe. But anyway, let's open it. Then we have the Sapphire manual. It is here. Basically just a GPU, I believe it's just a GPU. As usual on the Sapphire cards, their boxes aren't really that great, but their cards are good, so they kind of balance each other out. And now we have this warning saying, handle the PCI Express graphics with care due, uh, to avoid causing damage during insertion, insertion or removal, sorry. Oh, my bad. We have the plastics. Let's just remove them. Now that all the plastic is removed, well, we have... Uh, well, we actually have more plastic here. Even the fans have a <laughs> little plastic protection. And I can tell you right away that the design of, the, of this pulse, the, the XT pulse, is different from the non-XT. In terms of the design, but I'll show you in, the, in some seconds. We have the fans, the special fans from the pulse model. Nice. I believe they are easily removable as well. Then on the side we have the new design of the pulse saying sapphire here we, with kind of the with kind of a racing a racing theme here, something close to that. And then on the other side we have just saying it's Radeon with two times eight pin power connection. And this is one of the things that also change uh, compared to the non-XT version, which is the power connections. The pulse version uh, of this card, the XT, has two times eight pins while the normal one has only one 8-pin connection. As for the top, the design is slightly different as well. Uh, we have, once again, the cut for the die, which looks good and in terms of thermals is much better. And we have a small cut 
four thermals as well here on the front in order to let the heat um, raise or expand from the heat dissipation solution that we have here, the heat sink basically. But it is indeed different from the from the normal pulse, the normal 7600. Different. Even the positioning of the um, of the um, the die cut is different. As for the other side, it is nothing special. As for the front, the cut persists. And as for in terms of inputs and outputs, we have one display port, one HDMI, one HDMI, and another display port. So two display port, 2.1, I believe, and the latest version of HDMI as well, which I don't really know which is because I don't really use HDMI at all. It's only display port for me. So, so yeah, but in terms of inputs and outputs, it's fine because for people using HDMI, you have it here and the latest version, I believe, and you have the latest version of DisplayPort as well. So you're fine in terms of connections. What I do, what I do understand here is that the, this Pulse model is also larger or wider. Let's call it, yeah, it's wider than the normal 7600. Let me grab it. So as you see, this is the normal 7600, and although it might seem the same card, it is not even close in terms of performance. In terms of cooling performance, it is not even close. The 7600 XT that we have here, look at this. I'll just, I'll just put them here side by side, and you can immediately see that, well, maybe you can't because the camera, the camera quality, we don't have vertical lighting, so the camera quality won't show it. But here, for example, while this is the 7600, Look at the fans, for example. Fans have no cuts, they're just completely spiral ones. 7600, while the 7600 XT, they have cuts. It's a completely different angle. Even if we look at the, um, at the width of the card, we can see that the, the 7600 XT is bigger. Not in terms of length, but in terms of width. It has bigger fans, better fans, and at the same time, uh, it also has well, it also has a, a bigger heatsink. So the cards will consume the same power in terms of overclocking, exactly the same power, but the XT cooling solution is much better. And the design is also different because if you look at the lines, for example, at the lines uh, on the Pulse model, we have lines here and lines there, something that we do not have with a normal non-XT. So we have no lines here and we have no lines there. On the side, in terms of thickness, they're basically the same. Yeah, they're, they're basically the same. Nothing really much more to point out. But if you look at the heatsink, for example, you can see that on, the, um, on this side, the heatsink of the 7600 XT has way, way more... Um, I don't even know how to say it in English. But it has kind of more filaments compared to this one. This one is just plain, while this one has way more filaments. In terms of thickness, it is basically the same, but it is in, indeed wider. As for the back, it is also different, as you can see. The cut of the die, this is the XT, this is the non-XT, as you can see. The cut of the die is different. Yeah, the positioning and um, the cut itself is completely different. They change the cooling solution quite a lot. But overall, the 7600 XT cooling solution, the Pulse one, I believe this is what we should get or we should have gotten for the for the 7600 non-XT because once again, uh, yeah, the 7600 heats up a bit. In case you don't undervolt a card, you'll have and you have a high room temperature, you might have issues in terms of temperatures. While the 7600 XT will be completely fine. Nice card in my opinion. Let's see how it looks on the PC. And as you saw guys, this card is kind of a look-alike to the 7600 non-XT, although we have a slightly different design with some lines added on the XT, with a cut for, for the ventilation on the back, so basically the, the die cut is also a bit a bit higher than the normal non-XT. We also have the ventilation cut for the heat dissipation on the, um, on the heat sink. It is also slightly smaller, but at the same time, once again, it has better fans and bigger fans. So overall, in terms of cooling, the, the XT Pulse is much better than the non-XT Pulse. With the non-XT Pulse, I would like be running uh, a game at 200 watts and the card would be already, already um, like, 75, 76, 80 degrees if I actually didn't undervolt the card at all. It would basically be always at the 75 degrees mark or a bit over it, while the 7600 XT, since it has bigger and better fans in terms of 
of um, air pressure, of course. It also has a better cooling solution, so it is not only much, much cooler, but also more silent overall. So you won't be hearing the fan noises all the time. You might be hearing it in one or two games, depends on your ambient temperature, on your case temperature as well, on your case airflow. But overall, the 7600 XT Pulse is definitely a major upgrade in terms of cooling solution from the 76 non XT and the card itself actually performs pretty well if you want to to watch the performance in 40 games at 1080p of course you can see the video that I'm gonna release like like right now next to this one so lay an eye on it if you want to watch it thank you very much for watching the unboxing leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about the differences in between the cooling solution pulse of the 7600 and 7600 XT and see you in the next video guys cheers